Okay, Cod's Laws. First normal form. We want no repeating data row-wise, and we must have a primary key to enforce it. Data in each field is atomic, and we have no uh, repeating data in columns. We don't have like a phone number one, phone number two, phone number three, that sort of thing. Um, and you don't want like any embedded lists of like comma delimited lists in inside. That's what the atomic is about. Uh, second normal form, we have no column depends on less than the entire primary key. So it uh, can't point to just part of a composite key. Uh, you, have, you haven't combined tables, uh, domain or data type tables into one table. Um, also, you want to be using primary key, foreign key relationships between your tables. In other words, you, you're not just splitting your tables, the data apart into separate tables, but you're also uh, defining primary foreign keys. Also, don't pull some fields in from the domain table into your data table uh, just to avoid a join. Um, you know, like if you've got uh, a, uh, an orders table and you've got an ID for a product, don't bring the product's price in uh, just so you, you don't have to go, you know, join to the products table to get the product. That product. Um, so as far as, you know, making sure that, that this is going on, you're using primary keys, foreign keys. Okay, third normal form, each field depends on the whole key, nothing but the key, so help me cod. It's very similar to two, but uh, this would be uh, the, a field that points to another field instead of the primary key, or a field that doesn't point to any field at all. Um, this means you don't want things like um, unmaintained uh, calculated fields. If it is a maintained calculated field, um, maintained by the, by the database, then that's okay. But if it's unmaintained, that's not okay at all. Um, and then you have fourth normal form, which is basically that you're using junction tables uh, to um, create your many-to-many -many relationships instead of trying to denormalize the data. Um, and fifth normal form just means that you have separate junction tables for each of your many-to-many -many relationships and you're not trying to shove them all together into a single uh, junction table. And also remember um, before you're in second, you have to be in first, and before you're in third, you have to be in second, and so on. Um, and that's it.